Here I am, people, Savage the Creep, ready to give you all a short but hopefully helpful uh, review of uh, Secret Invasion on Disney+. Plus. Uh, first things first, thank you guys for the support, all the likes, the shares, the follows, subscribes. I appreciate it beyond measure. Thank you so much. That's why I keep doing this. So, uh, it was it was six episodes, uh, very different from what you've seen in pretty much any of the other Disney Plus shows. They took a large event like Secret Invasion from the comics, and they're able to simplify it into a six episode series that, in my opinion, was sorely needed. We needed something to just kind of just like bring us back down from all this super powered stuff that's just been going all over the place and you know we can't get jaded at times because everything looks the same but what we got in this was a simple spy drama uh somewhat like it was almost like taking a couple of pieces out of a good james bond or even like even jack reacher um and just like novel or something and just put it in into a series you got nick fury Samuel Jackson, he plays the role that he was born for very well. Uh, you have the the makeup um, on the scrolls. This looks amazing. And uh, just a, 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 a ahead of time, there's a, might be a couple of spoilers if you want to tune out at this point. So I could almost tell where most of the budget went. Because when ahead of time, bef before the um, series aired there was a rumor that you weren't going to see any super powered uh, friends or allies, anything like that in this. So uh, they weren't, they, they weren't lying. Uh, and you can, and you guys feel free to comment in, um, in, uh, down below and let me know what you think, uh, where the, most of the budget went. I want to hear your opinions too, but I'm pretty sure I can tell where most of the budget went uh, with this season. Uh, because they had like that, they had like one uh, amazing fight that needed it, needed uh, some type of uh, effects and stuff, and everything else kind of seemed more like very basic human um, hand to hand combat and uh, gunplay here and there. Uh, a lot of mind tricks going on between uh, who you think could be a scroll and who might not be a scroll, just waiting for the reveals. Uh, a lot of um, ups and downs. There's some losses taken in this season from like like big characters who are like who really like established themselves, and um, it raised a lot of a lot of questions. Uh, it definitely did. Like moving forward with whatever shows they have coming next, maybe they're gonna explain more in Armor Wars whenever that releases. But there's some questions that need to be answered. Like um, how long were these people? Uh, like taking them over, like how long were they uh, in their tubes or whatever, like while scrolls were taking their place on earth. But uh, I, I got to give you the score. Uh, I'm going to say probably uh, maybe like a 6.8, 6.8 um, to seven. Uh, it's, it's not a bad series as far as series go. Uh, I enjoyed I enjoyed watching. I looked forward to seeing it every week, and I usually just binge the series. But this one, I wanted to see it episode by episode. The episodes were about 38 minutes to 40 minutes each. Uh, I strongly suggest you guys watch it. Uh, you, it it's a, you know, I think we all need this right now. So give it a chance. I'll talk to you guys later.